If you're looking for the biggest amount of power that you can take with you, this is the video for you because I'm going to be showing you a unit that is absolutely massive. It can run all sorts of things you would never believe that a battery powered generator could. And I put it through its paces, give you the specs, but I show you some real world uses that you can see for yourself and decide if this might be something for you. The product we're going to look at is the Blue Eddy EB240 made by Max Oak. And this thing is rated for 2400 watt hours and 1000 watts. But wait a second because they just said watts and then I said watt hours. So what is the difference of these things and why do you even care? Well you care because it's your money and if you understand what this thing puts out, you'll know if it'll work for you or not before you buy it. And let's start with watts. Now watts is really important because that is the maximum amount of power you can run at any given time. So that could either be a hair dryer that's a thousand watts or 10 computers that are a hundred watts each. And it's kind of like the speed in your car. It's the maximum speed that the car can go, but that doesn't tell you how far you can go. And that's where we get into watt hours. Now you want to think of watt hours like the size of the gas tank in your car. If the tank was bigger, you could drive for longer and that's exactly what watt hours mean. It means that you can technically run 2400 watts for one hour. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of power but this is one of the largest on the market. Now the rest of this review I'm going to show you real world examples of what you can actually do. Now even though you're carrying a huge amount of power around, it's pretty light at 48 pounds and you can do it with one hand using this rubberized handle. And all of that power is generated using pure sign technology for the cleanest kind of power you can get. And with 2400 watt hours you'll be running for a very long time. Before we do anything we've got to get the unit charged up. Now inside are lithium ion batteries and to get them charged you can use the included charger and plug it right in the front and it takes about 15 hours to charge completely. The display in the front shows you the input wattage and it also shows you how far along the charge is. Here's an even better option. You can go completely solar and never plug in at all. This thing can connect to all different kinds of solar panels, large and small, and this lets you go completely wireless and go off grid. Now this has a built-in MPPT controller, so it's totally self-contained. Now depending on what kind of solar panel you use is going to determine how fast you can charge the unit up. Now I know that specs matter and that's why I included them, but what I want to know is what can I actually do with this thing? First let's turn the unit on. You do that by holding the power button until the front display turns on. You can also independently control the AC and the DC plugs. Now this is really handy if you're going to use it for a built-in installation like a tiny house or a camper. This works out really well. Four USB ports and they're all high amperage ports but this is the one that really made a difference for me. It's a USB-C port. That means you can plug it right into a laptop and charge it directly without an AC adapter. Your other ports in the front include the input port for charging and you've also got this DC port which is the standard cigarette lighter. Now you can use this to power things only. You cannot charge the unit using that plug. On the back we've got the exhaust for the cooling fans. Now this fan only operates when needed so that makes it a lot quieter. And in addition you've got two outlets on the back that you can use for up to a thousand watts. Now I would have liked to have seen more outlets but these do the job and you could plug a strip in for more outlets if you needed them. Now even though this thing is big, I wanted to start off small just to make sure it actually worked and that included this little 250 watt heater. I plugged it in, had no problems whatsoever and the display measured exactly what the unit was drawing. Now many of you use these in RVs, campgrounds or even things like tiny houses. So being able to run high wattage appliances can make a real difference and as I prepped the coffee and got everything together, I finally got to turn the unit on and waited to see what would happen. I really expected something to go wrong at this point but instead the thing just did its job. The coffee maker was drawing about 650 watts and you've got to keep in mind there's two heating elements inside this machine. There's one that boils the water to make the coffee but the second element is running the little hot plate that's underneath the glass carafe. But after a few minutes you can see I just saw steam coming out and the coffee came out just fine. I wanted to do an even bigger test and I'm going to start with this. This is an igloo thermoelectric cooler. It plugs in using a standard cigarette style plug. It only draws about 60 watts but these things are really handy and you might use them in a tiny house or a campsite. Whatever you put inside will stay cold using that thermoelectric fan on top. 
With the thermal cooler running, we want it to do something even bigger, and it doesn't get much larger than an electric hot plate. Now the single burner unit draws about 900 watts, and remember we can only run 1000 watts maximum, so doing this test should really see if this thing can do what it's supposed to. And you can see in the display we're drawing 60 watts DC and about 900 watts AC. So this is a huge draw and we're almost at maximum output. And this wasn't just some fake test, I wanted to see if I could really cook. So I broke out a pan and decided I'd make some eggs and see if this thing could actually get the job done. This test with the eggs was perfect because if you've ever made eggs, you know you've got to cook them slowly if you want them to come out good. And I wasn't going to rush anything because I wanted to make sure the Blue Eddy would work. And I also like when I make a video to make sure that if you do this test yourself, you'll get the same results. And this burner had to run for a while and it took a little time for the eggs to cook. And they ended up coming out really well, but the most important thing of all was look at this. Even after making the coffee, the eggs, and this thing was running in total for about an hour, I still had only dropped about one bar in power. So that's a really good real world example. I had such a good time doing that test that I wanted to do one more, and that was to see how portable the battery generator really was. So Kira and I drove down the beach, we took all the same equipment that you saw, and we hooked it up inside of my truck. Now I know cooking inside a vehicle probably isn't the smartest thing, but this is kind of a real life situation and considering it was almost 35 degrees outside, it was really too cold to do this any other way. What do you think? There's a napkin. <laughs> And with Kira's seal of approval, I have to say I was completely amazed by how well this worked. I fully expected the coffee maker or the hot plate were just gonna trip something inside and it would break down, but that never actually happened. But the even more important part is if you're gonna use this for an RV, a camper, or a living off-grid, this thing could really work and it's one unit. You just have to buy one thing. It is everything inside from the controller to the watt hours you want. Now these are not cheap and they are about $2,000, but if you compare that with other ones, it's actually pretty well priced considering the runtime. So I hope you enjoyed this video, got you to see something you may never have seen before, and most importantly, you got to see a real world use for something, and that's what matters. So I hope you agree, and if you do, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.